In this video, you will learn how to use the analysis wizard to compare attributes or properties from multiple layers using comparison analysis in SMS Advanced. By using the comparison analysis, you will get a report of multiple properties and attributes and how they influence yield or other operations. Some common comparisons include yield by hybrid, yield by soil type, yield by implement, yield by management zone, and so much more. To begin, go to the analysis wizard in the main toolbar and select comparison analysis on the left. To create a new comparison analysis function, click add on the right of the select analysis type to run window. In the name and description window, you will enter a unique name and description for the comparison you are creating. In this example, we are going to create a yield by hybrid comparison analysis. Click next. On the select data sets for comparison window, we will select the reference data sets that you would like to compare. There are two areas to select the data sets you would like to use. The first one at the top is select data for comparison, which is the data set that will be used in the comparison to provide the actual results. The other one is select comparison attribute property data sets which is the data sets that will be used as a source for attributes and properties. Generally, if you are wanting to compare yield to an attribute or property, you will select the harvest data set as the data set for comparison. And the data set that contains the attributes or properties, such as the hybrid or variety name, that will be selected for the comparison attribute property data set. To select the data sets for comparison, Click Edit to the right of the input dataset name. We will then select the grower, farm, field, year, and operation for the layer that you want to compare. Click Next when your selection is complete. On the Edit Data Filter Results window, click Finish. On the Edit Input Datasets window, here you have the option to change the grid sizes used to interpret the data. In most situations, if you check Use Automatic Grid Interpolation Settings, the software will use the data you have selected to identify the best settings for the data you have selected. When finished, click OK. Now we will select the Comparison Attribute Property Datasets. To the right, select Add. We will then select the Grower, Farm, Field, year, and operation for the layer that contains the attributes or properties you would like to reference. Click Next when your selection is complete. On the Edit Data Filter Results window, click Finish. On the Edit Input Dataset Settings window, here you have the option to once again change the grid sizes used to interpret the data. When finished, click OK. If there are any additional layers of data that you would like to use for comparison attributes and properties, add them here now. Once you have all of the layers to be used in the comparison added, you have the option to check Use Point Overlay Method for Processing. Use Point Overlay Method for Processing is used to compare data such as split planter data or any type of data where you need to compare pass-by-pass pass or point-by-point point data. This option does not use any interpolation and the grid size needs to be set to reflect the spacing of the point data or objects. Click Next. On the Select Result Attributes to Output window, select the attributes that you would like the values generated in the comparison results, then click Add. In this case, we are going to select Yield dry. When you have all the attributes you would like to reference selected, click Next. On the Select Result Grouping window, you will choose the data set that will be used to group the results in the final report and charts. In this case, we need to select the product name from the planting data set as that contains the hybrid name. Then we will select whether it's an attribute or a property on the left. Product name is a property, so we will select property. Then in the management item dropdown, we will select product. And under the property list, we will select name. 
Then select add in the middle to move it to under selected items. If you add an attribute or property that contains any numerical information, you will have to set ranges for the subgroups. For example, if you want to compare yield to rate, you will have to set various ranges of the applied rate that will be used to group your yield information. To set the ranges for a numerical attribute or property, enter the minimum and maximum values for each range and then click Add. After you have all of the ranges set up, if you need to use the ranges that you just created for future use to avoid manual re-entry, you can click Save Ranges on the bottom right and save a template. Then, when you would like to use the ranges that you just created again, you would just simply click Load Ranges and select the saved template. When finished, select OK. The order of the selected items will be the order they appear in the generated report. You can rearrange the items by using the black arrow buttons in the upper right. Once you have the desired arrangement, click Finish. Next, you will select the reference data set. The reference data set is the one that contains the most data in your system. So, if you have a comparison that uses grain harvest and soil type, the grain harvest data set would be the best choice to select here because you probably have multiple years of grain harvest data, but you're likely to only have one year of soil type data. The grain harvest data in this case is the input data set. Once selected, click Next. The next window is the related dataset filter selections, which helps the software identify how it should search through your data for other inputs that you have selected in your analysis function, other than the reference data set that was set up in the previous step. If you are running a comparison function using a grain harvest data set and a soil type data set, then the related data filter would more than likely be set to the soil type data, or more specifically, the operation it came from. For this example, we will reference the same grower, farm, field, and year between the planting and harvest data. Operation is set to fixed to limit it to one operation to compare to at a time for the layer that it has the comparison items. Product, operational instance, and data sets will be set to all to ensure that all the information from the planting layer are included. Click Finish when complete. Now that the comparison has been set up, it can be run in the Select Analysis Type to Run window. Select the newly created comparison under Saved Comparison Analysis Functions, and then at the bottom, you can choose to either run Selected Analysis for a single field, multiple fields, or multiple projects. Running an analysis for a single field or multiple fields are just as they sound, but let's talk more about what running an analysis for multiple projects will do. When growers are in different projects, at times it may be desirable to compare data from one grower to another. An example may be to compare a hybrid that many growers planted to see what combined user average is. Then to present that to each grower with his own personal data. This will give the grower a relative perspective of how other hybrids are performing. This does require that all planting or harvest data has been logged with the same product names. Other examples of this tool may be how fertilizer treatments compared between growers or rates of other treatments. For the comparison analysis that we just created, we will select Run for a Single Field. In the next window, select Data Filters. Select the grower, farm, field, year, and operation to run the comparison for. Click Next, then Finish. When the analysis is completed, you will have four pages of results. The analysis report, analysis combination, analysis chart, and another analysis chart. These results can be edited by right-clicking on the results that you would like to change, and then select Edit Report or Chart Options to bring up the editing tools. 
After you have made your edits, you can save them for future use for analysis by right-clicking on any page and select Save All Document Settings. If you would like to print the results, you can print a single result page by right-clicking and selecting Print. If you would like to print all of the result page, go to File, Print All. Now you will be able to use the analysis wizard to compare attributes or properties from multiple layers using the comparison analysis in SMS Advanced. If you would like to see more short tutorials from AgLeader, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.